Good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. It's currently about 7.45 a.m. Um, I'm waiting on Shepard this morning to go out and do some forestry reporting. So it has been a big week. Um, we're seeing how everything has been continuing to sliding down and we're starting to see the recession hit after the economy not picking back up from uh, this from this virus and all the other negative effects that have come into play. I currently do not have a ton of hours, but I kind of saw that coming before the pandemic hit. I kind of saw how the NRCS was playing out and the amount of hours that they had available. Um, sorry for the background noise. The school next door is doing construction. They've been doing it all summer. Um, I knew that my hours were going to start kind of slowing down, so I started picking up more forestry. But now forestry hours are starting to die down, and last week I worked 15 hours, and this week it looks like I'm going to work about 24. Um, so I am put my 30 day notice in yesterday here for the little cottage in the back. It's a cute little place. I've really enjoyed my time here and the time that I've spent. I've learned a lot, but I'm ready to move on to my next thing. I have put job applications in in the bay to kind of be closer to family down there as well to be closer to Esmeralda. Um, I'm just seeing where things go. Got the little cat back here with me. She's chilling. She has been a fantastic companion on moving with me and what we do. So I always make sure that she, what she needs is included. Um, I gave up coffee for a while. I'm no longer addicted to it. It's just more now than I enjoy it. I have a cup. Mom's really excited for me to come home for a couple weeks. I don't plan on being there more than two weeks, help, helping around the property up there and then visiting with Grandma Jane. And then I would like to go down to the bay and closer to um, the Cheneys and to to Auntie Eloise. It's been an interesting opportunity to kind of see how things are playing out. I know that I've become a stronger business-minded person um, and I've also noticed that I, I hold my own a lot better. I do notice that, it, I, I don't get me wrong, I love my mom dearly. I do notice that I get very frazzled around her. My mind starts to like get into old habits and that's something I'm trying to avoid. I've been reading a lot of books and listening to a lot of books on the brain and how to change the way you think on a uh, chemical level. And that has been a really fascinating, wonderful opportunity. It's just, I really enjoy that aspect of it. Um, I have a little garden out front right here. Let's, let me show you. I have some, I think I have six tomato plants and four pepper plants. That you have the mint that is now flowering and some sage in the back. This has been a fun place. I've enjoyed it. It's been quiet since the, the pandemic hit. A lot of the college kids have already gone home. We're seeing a massive effect on um, housing here that there's a lot of housing coming available that prior would have been given to the college kids or they had. You're also seeing that in the Bay Area as well, where people no longer have to, can afford that rent or they don't, um, they don't necessarily want to be there and they're still getting paid the same. So they're, they're moving out of the area to telework. It's really interesting to see how much this pandemic is going to change our environment. You see the Black Lives Matter is still going strong and good for them. It should continue to stay positive and, and keep showing how the government needs to change. It appears that Trump is almost trying to run like a dictatorship. He keeps changing things to be more to him and not actually towards civil rights. You see a lot of his, um, a lot of his supporters are against most of the free rights to other people as long as they're benefiting them. So it's been an inter it's been interesting to watch society kind of divide on that and it's always divided based off of presidential candidates but it's gotten a lot worse um it's gotten pretty bad so we will just have to wait and see how that plays out i'm hopeful that things will continue to be productive um what am i gonna miss the most about chico I'm probably going to miss this little cottage and, and
and being so close to downtown it's a really nice little downtown i like all the breweries here i really like secret trail brewing company they make the sour ale or the sour beer that is amazing it's one of my favorite beers ever um i'm also gonna miss the paletta store i really have eaten quite a bit of ice cream from there and i'm gonna miss the outdoor environment here. It's been very overrun since the pandemic because there's so many people who are out and about, but I think it's fantastic for them to get to enjoy that space. Um, and that is my update. I know I haven't updated in a while, but here it is. So here's to the next 30 days of being in Chico and then moving on to something else. Happy Wednesday.